In this segment, I will review a Web 2.0 communication tool called Weebly. Weebly is a free online website builder. You can create anything from blogs, basic information websites, to business sites with e-commerce options. You don't have to know any HTML to use Weebly. All you need is an internet connection and web browser. Weebly boasts that its tools are easy to use. Building a site consists of selecting a site format and theme and utilizing drag and drop features. It automatically adapts to your phone internet browsers. This tool is completely web-based and you do not need to download any special programs to use it. So next I'm going to do a really quick run through of some of the basic features of Weebly. For this example, I'm using a website that I built. Um, it's about teaching in Japan through the Japan Exchange and teaching program or the JET program. So first off, when you start building your website, you'll probably want to look at this design option. So we'll click on that and um, choose a theme. So notice that there are lots of themes that you can choose from and you can build and add more pages using some of these themes. Okay? You can change the styles, the colors, and the fonts. So let's go back to this build option and notice that there are basic features. You can change the structure, add media, do commerce, and other things. So first off, let's start with structure and let's add something. Let's make some columns to this web page. So let's make this four columns, okay? So first I might want to add text. So all I need to do, once again, drag and drop my text box in there. And all I need to do is just type and you'll notice that up here, I can just edit and change the font and the colors and the sizes. So maybe next I want to add an image. Once again, drag and drop it into the column. And if I click on this, upload a photo, photo from my computer, um, I can just find something from my desktop and just drop it in there. So if I want to add something a little bit more fancy, let's say something in media, I might want to add a YouTube video drag and drop and if I click on this video here all I need to do is type in a URL um, and that's it so if I'm a teacher maybe I want to share some documents or files with my students so I have the option of sharing a file on here and the Weebly server will host it for you so drag and drop and if I just click on that I'm gonna show you an example of uploading a file let's click on that And real quick, it uploads it right there for you. Okay, so pretty neat. Um, over here, you might want to add more interactive features like uh, maybe a forum or a survey. So I want to bring your attention up here. So notice up here, these are the pages on my website. So for example, this main page would be called high schools and then some of the other smaller connected pages are listed down here. So if I wanted to add or organize some of my pages, I'll just click on this pages options up here. And notice that to my left, um, this is a skeleton of my site with all the pages on here. So if I wanted to add a page, let's say maybe I want to add a blog uh, about high school. So blogging about high school. I don't want to head it for it. And it gets added down here. So maybe I want to put it underneath my high school header right here. And if I go back to take a look at my page, click on build, you'll notice that right there, there it is, blogging about high school. So overall, it's pretty easy to, um, I would say relatively easy, to build a website um, using Weebly. Um, most of the basic features are just adding and dropping. Here are some suggestions before you begin using Weebly. First, decide on the website type. Do you want to make a blog, information, or e-commerce site? Then browse other similar websites to get ideas on how you want to organize your site. Then draft it on paper or online. And finally, make a test website just to explore the tools and get a sense of how its interface works. As an educational tool, I think it's great for communicating a large amount of information to learners. For example, as a classroom website, a source of general or expert information, a place for blogging and discussion, and it can also be used as a place to get information on or display completed digital work. 
For students, Weebly is an easy tool to help develop an ePortfolio. In my case, I designed my Weebly site as an information resource for people who are interested in the JET program in Japanese public schools. I highly recommend Weebly because it is relatively easy to use. Another website builder with similar features that you might also want to look into is called Wix on Wix.com. Thank you for watching.